I color in the channel 3420, which is about charisma, design of being busy in the now, or a design where response must become deeds. We have in the mandala wheel, we know that there are oppositions in the wheel. I'm gonna show you where they are. So here's the 34, and opposite in the wheel, here's the 20. Now notice where the 23 and the 43 are. I'm just gonna highlight, here's 43 up here in the Ashna center, and here's 23. Notice how close they are. This one's in the throat center. Notice how close they are. 23 is right next door to the 20. 43 is right next door to the 34. When you're looking at this rave mandala wheel, the gate activations that are there are genetically similar to the ones right next door because there is a progression. If you just kind of soft gaze around the wheel, look at where we are, the sun is in gate one right now, right? So I'm just gonna put a little sun dot here. And the earth is in gate two right now, okay? So I want you to look at the body graph, the mandala wheel up here where the sun is, the circle with the dot, where the one is, and just soft gaze around this mandala wheel. What do you notice when you're looking at these gate activations as we move around the mandala wheel? Just kind of following my, my finger, but looking at the gates that are right next door. If you don't see it yet, you might, might do it another time or just go a little slower than I am, but do you notice how the relationship of the gates to each other? Very, very similar. There's a pattern, isn't there? And what Ra noticed is that that pattern had a lot to do with the way that the codons of the gates show up. So if we look at the relationship of 43 and 34, can you see how it's only one line different? It's line five in the 34 is a yin line, whereas line five in the 43 is a yang line. That's the only difference between the two. Okay, so we've got that now. We can see that there's a definite relationship genetically between 23 and 20 and 43 and 34. Now, it just so happens that these gate activations are oppositions in the wheel. Therefore, they are going to create a channel. So 3420 creates a channel. 4323 creates a channel. We know that generators in their frequency field, they have an open and enveloping magnetic aura. It's generating life. It's got this field that's pulsing outward that's actually drawing things in. It's drawing in things for it to respond to. That's what the field does. It's very porous, it's open, it's generating life. And in its response, it can move forward. Now, the interesting thing of what happens with the 2034 is chaotic and messy. I've heard it be described as like a missile without a guidance system. Oh, happily enough, we have the 2343, which is a mental projector channel. And we know that projectors are designed to, let's imagine we've got a, a projector design over here, right? Projector design. And it's if it's invited, if it's recognized, its energy is going to penetrate into the core of what this person is. So if the generator is inviting the projector and the projector in its clarity of awareness, it can recognize awareness. It can recognize, I know how to guide this being because it's genetically similar. So the relationship of the projector designed to focus, penetrate, and absorb into the other. As a generator, they have no shield like the manifester and the reflector do. Because the manifester and reflector's auric field has a level of protection for them. Neither the projector nor the generator has a level of protection like you guys do as reflector or manifester. So when there's an interaction, it's like a key fitting into the right lock when we have a 2343 projector and a 3420 manifesting generator come into relationship with each other. It's a very special thing in that the 2343 is designed to see big picture, 
to know how to move things efficiently and effectively through explaining. It's part of the cross of explanation. So it's brilliant flashes of genius insight and its ability to explain and ask questions of the 3420. It's the guidance system to their missile, their rocket. And when it's on only one gate, instead of the full channel, still a possibility for guidance. Here's my daughter's example. She has her own 43. You can see in her design, she's a split definition. Here's mama with her 23, okay? So for her, her conditioning this life is to have my 23 in there asking questions and helping her get in touch with her own knowing. So either one or the other can still provide some guidance. But as long as the interaction, you know, the generator invites, is emotionally clear about wanting this particular 23, hi, here's mama with her 23, that has the ability to ask questions. When invited, if she doesn't invite me, oh boy, those questions aren't going to go anywhere. <laughs> so I can give her advice and guidance. And even if she didn't have the 20 or 43, I could still ask questions. I might not have any, you know, idea where it's coming from. I don't <laughs> when I ask questions. It's just a sense of awareness about what might light her up, what might turn her on. When you see, as far as the channels that make us human, and here I'm just pointing out to my daughters again before we leave this, that it, this is her other activations. It's not the sun earth that's creating her incarnation cross or the nodes that's creating her channel. That's um, the 3420. It's this, this is also an opportunity. Any planetary activation can create that channel. In addition to, there are only three channels that are oppositions in the wheel. And the two of them we were just talking about. Okay. So the third one is the channel of community. Yeah, design of a part seeking a whole. Now the reason why these channels are quite common and at the core of, of what it means to be human is that every time the sun hits any one of these gates, we know opposite in the wheel, there's the earth. And that creates the channel itself. So twice a year, each of these channels are going to be activated for about a week. In addition to how long, slow, the nodes, you know, the nodes of the moon, they take 18 and a half years, 18.6 years to go around the wheel. It takes 106 days in a gate. It spends 17.7 days in a line. So when the nodes move, then we have a whole slew, you know, of people being born for three months, a little over three months, where that whole group of people that are being born are going to have those channels. And that's why it's so common, because it can also happen with any other planet. 